Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me for this episode of my Derby County career on FIFA 17. Firstly, I just want to say thank you to all you guys that supported that first episode that smashed the hell out of the like button, left a comment and so on. You're awesome. And secondly, for these next couple of episodes, I'm going to be kind of experimenting to see what works best for this series. As we know with the championship, there's more teams in the league, there's more games to be played and there is that potential for this series, for the first season anyway, to get a bit stale somewhere down the road. And we don't want that happening. So for this first episode, as you can probably tell, I'm doing post-commentary uh, to start things off. Just so I can go over what I plan to do with the start of this series anyway. And don't worry, I will be going back to live commentary that will be returning probably for the next episode now. Anyway, the first highlights came from the opening day of the new championship season. We were at home to Brighton and Hove Albion, and unfortunately we did lose. We dropped all three points on the opening day. Not the best start, I must say, to live here at Derby County, but it's only the first game of the new season, so nothing to worry about just yet. Obviously, it would have been nice to have got the win uh, in front of the home fans for the first game of the season. But there's still plenty more games to come for Derby County. And with the quality that we brought in in the summer, I'm sure we'll be up there competing for promotion to the Premier League. Up next then for Derby County was a mid-week fixture in the EFL Cup. We, again, were at home against Morecambe. And I was hoping for a much better result than that one against Brighton. And it was Darren Bent that fired Derby County into the lead with such a thunderbolt up into the top right-hand corner. Just before half-time as well, it's always a good time to score. Then in the 67th minute, Derby County were awarded a penalty. Dean Winnard of Morecambe went lunging in on Thorne and got himself sent off in the process. It'd be Darren Bent to step up and take and to make it 2-0. The game was pretty much all wrapped up by then, even with just under half an hour to be played. Darren Bent's two goals then sees Derby County through to the next round of the EFL Cup, a competition which I think we could potentially go all the way uh, and maybe win this season. Who knows? Fingers crossed. Up next, we look to right the wrongs of the opening day of the championship season as we were away to Barnsley. On paper, it was supposed to be a simple fixture for Derby County, a simple three points to get us up and running in the championship this season. But Barnsley have frustrated us. They had held it at 0-0 up until that 74th minute until our summer signing, Josh Onomar, was on the end of that indirect free kick taken by Wayman and scoring a fully deserved goal. We dominated possession, but Barnsley, they kept their shape. They defended so well. And once we scored that first goal, the floodgates had opened. Will Hughes found his way through on goal. Went to uh, go for the sweaty there to find Darren Bent, who's in a bit of form at the moment after scoring those two goals midweek against Morecambe in the EFL Cup. But the ball took a deflection and it will go down as an own goal, even though Will Hughes was celebrating. So first three points. Derby County now up and running in the championship this season after this 2-0 away win to Barnsley. But we had to quickly turn our attention to our next game midweek away to Preston North End. And after that performance from one of our new summer signings, I really wanted to see, or I should say want to see, and I'm sure it will happen given a bit of time, better performances from the likes of Tom Ince. He is a player that has potential to have such influence in, in some of the big games that we've got. I mean, he did assist Fyder, another summer signing, in this first goal away to Derby County in the 15th minute. But we know that Tom Ince, he has that ability. I mean, he's scored long-range shots before. And talking about long-range shots, Fyder doubled the lead for Derby County right on the stroke of half-time with that long-range effort. That was beautifully struck goalkeeper had no chance whatsoever right in front of the Derby fans as well but yes I'm sure there is plenty more to come from Tom Ince I'm sure he's got plenty more to offer throughout this series so another away win for Derby County this time against Preston North End at the moment as it stands we are better away from home and I was hoping that we could take this away form into our next game which would be at home against Aston Villa who were relegated to the championship last season 
Now, with it being August, the transfer window, of course, is still wide open. And I did look to bring in one more sign in. That would be Matt Target from Southampton. He is at the age of 20. He's a full back. I wanted to just add a little bit more strength and depth for that left back position. As at the moment, we've got Olsen, Forsyth, Max Lowe. You'll see the players that we've got in that position right now here on the squad report. Marcus Olsen then will be first team pick. But obviously for uh, games where he's either unfit or injured, someone like Matt Target or Craig Forsyth will come in. But, you know, that signing, that loan signing of Matt Target, it's all about the youth as well. Trying to build up this team. It's a long-term project, so we'll just have to see how well Matt Target does here at Derby County. If he is exceptional, then maybe we'll put in a proper bid for him come the end of the season. So there was the league table heading into our next game at home to Aston Villa. We were in sixth, just inside a playoff position. Aston Villa found themselves in ninth after three games gone. They've drawn two and only won one game. Now, Aston Villa, as we know, were relegated last season from the Premier League and they didn't really have that much of a clear out of some of their top players. So I was expecting a tough challenge uh, heading into this one. Probably the, the biggest challenge that we'll have so far this season. And we almost opened up the scoring with just two minutes gone. Alex Awobi's through ball pass to Josh Onomar. And the ball just seeped underneath the goalkeeper. They were very lucky to uh, stop it from rolling across the line. I did think that they made it 1-0. But this was a game full of chances gone begging. Grealish got things rolling for Aston Villa in the second half. Jordan Ayew just cutting our defence apart. And it was woeful finishing in the end. He really should have been fined at the back of the net with such a fantastic run. But yet the game was still at a deadlock until Darren Bent stormed into the penalty area and won a penalty kick for Derby County. I almost drawed Elphick into that one. As you can see, I moved the ball away from him and then he just lunged in. Well, Darren Bent would step up and take and would miss. It was the perfect opportunity to get probably the first and only goal in this game and Darren Bent who's been in pretty decent form for the start of the season getting a couple of goals in the EFL Cup and a goal in the championship as well couldn't score a penalty kick very disappointing and what a chance that would have been what a result it would have been as well against Aston Villa heading into our next game which would be midweek again in the EFL Cup it was the second round we were away to Blackpool and it would be Mason Bennett that would start front, the youngster, that would grab the opening goal for Derby County. Even though he was put under a bit of pressure by the two defenders of Blackpool, he still managed to find the top corner for Derby. And that would be the final score, 1-0 to Derby County. And on we go, on we march into the next round, the third round of the EFL Cup, where it gets interesting, where some of the top teams in the Premier League come into play. Who will we be drawn against? You guys are just going to have to stay tuned to find out. Now, last but not least, for the month of August for Derby County, it was a trip to Burton Albion with another three points, another three vital points up for grabs. Burton Albion in this game demonstrated that they are certainly no pushovers since getting promoted from League One to the Championship. We did hit them on the break in the 66th minute from their free kick from the halfway line. It was Alex Awobi and Darren Bent that were leading the strike force, but Darren Bent for some reason decided to back off and allowed Alex Awobi to go it alone. And the lone E signing from Arsenal didn't disappoint as he scored the first and only goal of this game. He bagged his first goal of the season as well in a Derby County shirt. A good performance all around then for Derby in this game. They Again, just like Barnsley, Burton, they frustrated us. They kept their shape, but we didn't let our heads drop. We kept on attacking and eventually we found a way through. We broke them down and we got those three points. And this is the league table as it currently stands heading into the month of September. We are fourth, five games gone, three games won, one drawn, one loss. Ten points picked up out for possible 15. It's not bad, could be better. I mean, that first game of the season against Brighton, we should have been winning, but there's still plenty of time to go. Up next, we've got Newcastle United at St. James's Park, and they are in fine form at the moment. They are top of the pack by a point, but they've won all four games that they've played. Let's just quickly see how our new signings have done. So Jordan Pickford, at the age of 22, our signing from Sunderland, has played five games, has kept three clean sheets. That's really good. 
uh, especially in the championship. Mason Holgate is progressing just nicely. He's really fitted into the uh, the first team perfectly, uh, that right back position. Who else have we got? Uh, Alex Awobi. You saw he scored his first goal right at the end of the month of August against Burton Albion. Josh Onomar. What a player he's going to be in the next couple of seasons. What a player he's been so far this season. Then there is Vidra. He bagged two goals in the month of August in the championship after starting five games there. Not bad. Would like to see a little bit more from him come September. Darren Bent, the age of 32. He's still got it. Picking up an average rate of 7.2 in the championship. Scoring two goals in the EFL Cup. Not bad. Let's see if we could get him scoring in the championship though. Anyway guys, that's going to be about it for this episode. Hope you've all enjoyed. And don't forget to let me know what you guys think of this format in the comments below. Showing all the games in one month in one video. Maybe this is what I'll do for the rest of the season. That's it then for this episode guys. Thanks for watching. See you all soon for the next one.